voting started at exactly 7 a.m. with a total of 827 delegates expected to cast their ballots here at the Kisiman RC Junior High School in the Nkranza South constituency. Ramatu Jingo is the Nkranza Municipal EC Chairperson. We started the exercise at 7 o'clock. We are expecting 827 delegates to come and vote. We have two contestants. Uh, security is very tight and we are here operating very well. We are helpful in every aspect of the electoral process. These hundreds of voters seen in long queues are optimistic of choosing the right candidate capable of helping the party snatch the Grand South seat for the new patriotic party in the December 2024 general elections. We are here to choose a candidate who will be able to snatch the seat for us. We are very hopeful that our decision today will help us win the 2024 parliamentary polls. We the youth of Nkranza are waiting for a youth MP because that is exactly what we want. With voting ending at exactly 2 p.m., Sorting and counting was next with a former member of parliament for the area, Charles Kunadu Yadon, polling 127 votes out of a total of 793 and presidential staffer Harriet Chiamantin upon polling 666 votes representing 83.9% of the ballots. Harriet says she was overwhelmed at the support received from the people of Nkranza. I think my excitement is actually from the support that I'm getting from the people of Infraza because most of the time um, when you are coming in fresh like this, you wouldn't get the support like I'm getting now. It's because I feel that I've lived well with people. I respect authority. I give Anna where Anna is due. I would also want to say that I've really served my people well. Harriet, who won the contest in a landslide form, believes that her generosity to the people of the area, coupled with hard work, made the difference. I think it was very evident today, after the announcement of the results. You could see how people were excited, people were very happy. Um, I haven't been in the system for long, but within the short time that I've come in, I've made a lot of impact on people's lives. And for me, touching a life is so important for people, okay? So it is not, I don't see it as a very big problem or a big deal. I feel that uh, the hard work that I put in can actually produce the needed results that we need for 2024. She promised to unite with the defeated member of parliament as she began her journey to reclaim the Nkranga South seat. Most importantly, we need to unite as a party. So I'm going to work towards that. I'll make sure that I engage well, with the relevant stakeholders to ensure that um, we actually visit my opponents who just lost. And then whatever we have to do to come together as one people. What is important is that uh, Nkwanzaman is poised um, for victory for the NPP in 2024. And I'm very much convinced about that. The Nkranga South seat since its creation in the year 2004 has been won twice by the New Patriotic Party and twice by the NDC and the 2024 polls could be the first time a female candidate is representing the people of Nkranga since the year 1992. Anna Sabit, Joy News, Nkranga.